Philippines, but you know, an upgraded version. <laughs> and since they had In and Out, yeah, 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 was it good? Yeah, it was really good, especially the jalapenos. Oh, you like yeah, spicy? I really like it. Okay, so let, let's go in with the questions. Yeah, let's jump right in. Are you ready? Yes. You want to you do the first question? Yes. Yeah. So, how does it feel to be one of the globally recognized Pinoy acts of today? Oh. Um, first of all, we're very humble and we're very honored to be recognized by our talents. And of course, we're really, really thankful to all the people who have been supporting us from the very beginning. But, you know, this is just the first step to promoting or um, re uh, having the Filipino music recognized by the world. So, uh, we're really, really happy that we're creating motions and uh, slowly we're getting there. And uh, we're, we're really, really thankful to all the supporters out there. Yeah, there is a lot of supporters. As you can see here in the crowd, everyone is attentive. Let's make some noise, Los Angeles. Yes. So tell me a little bit about, a, about your show. What can people expect from your shows? How will the Where You're At Tour, uh, World Tour, stand out to both your fans here, globally? Uh, and how will they get to know SB19? Because now it's, it's personal. This is the first time here, correct? Who, who wants to answer? Uh, well, um, uh, we always say this every time. Uh, when we perform, um, we deliver. Um, it depends because um, when we perform, we make sure that we give our best. Not 100%, but if we can give our 1,000%, we will do it. But um, as we always say, um, every performance is different from each city. Because, um, you know, we add a lot of flavor in different cities as well. And, you know, uh, every performance is very meaningful for us. Because not every city, uh, we have the same audiences. So we make sure that um, we are giving our best. And we will, you know, the, the money that they pay, it's worth it. Yeah. I love that. I do see all the different flavors. So my question also with the flavors and all your personalities, what is your favorite song to perform, each of you? It's a hard question. <laughs> yeah, it's hard a very question. hard question. All uh, of the above. Yeah, all of the above. Because, you know, uh, every song has a di different emotion, a different feeling. And uh, when, you're, when you're in that uh, certain moment, when you're trying to sing it, you definitely feel different from another song that you're going to sing later so uh, we try to be in the zone every song that we sing and we try to give our best and make sure that the emotion of that certain song is translating to the people who's watching so Evo, very uh, very hard question but if, if, it, if maybe it were, we were to pick I always like uh, to uh, perform Bazinga because it's like it's like the song that I get to you know, let it all out, just scream, and I'll be myself. But yeah, uh, it's it's also good because you know the fans are gets to party with us. Yeah, it's really nice. 
Yeah, I think it's the same, but they prefer me. But they, they yeah, because we get to, you know, uh, does it all <laughs> get, get the fans hyped up, like those kinds of stuff. And it's, I think it's one of the songs that could really, you know, uh, could, you could tell to your friends, of course, yes, be not one of your songs. You could really show Bazinga to them, you could make them listen to it to know more about us. Uh, to me personally, um, SLMT is the, you know, it's like, um, uh, it's the way of, you know, thanking our fans for being there, um, especially when times get rough. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know that we love them, so we made us we made that song for them. Um, for me, I think it's where you at because unlike our other songs, like um, what it's I mean you need to put so much emotions, but then for um, where you at, it's very chill. You just have to get to yeah, you just have to groove, um, have fun and all. So there's no much pressure when performing where you at. So that's. Well, for me personally, uh, I love our ballad songs. So I think I would say um, Hanggang Sa Huli and of course Papa. Uh, I really love performing those songs, especially Hanggang Sa Huli because. Uh, yeah. Sample? What song? What song? Hanggang Sa Huli. Hanggang Sa Huli. Yes. pa ang mundo ay magiba. Ang kwila. question naman na to, you debuted in 2018, so from that point, what has changed? This is the, this is the first world tour that you're doing, right? So, um, what happened in, in those four years, and then what has changed as a group and individually? A lot of things have changed. You, you wouldn't be able to deny it, of course. Uh, for me, personally, I got eager and eager to perform. Yes. Like, give better performances, because, you know, when you get a taste of, you know, uh, a success you feel like it's it's already like you feel confident and whatnot but for us it's it's not that we get more pressured we feel like uh, there are a lot of eyes watching us now and then we have to uh, step our game and yeah I, I feel like uh, <laughs> uh, what, what has changed? Yeah, I know. Uh, we, we got more hungry. And in terms of skills, I can say that there's a lot of change. And, you know, uh, we perform, you know, we had a lot of uh, concerts and events we performed. So, um, yeah, my English speaking skills is <laughs> expired. <laughs> <laughs> I think especially when the pandemic happened, um, we were like in a state of days. Uh, every day we train, but we don't release any song. It's 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 the hunger really that made us really who we are right now. Yeah, and, well, we we could really say that our lives improved, but yeah. what hasn't changed is our eagerness to you know improve and to perform. Uh, about the lives of uh, the yeah, I think. It, it, um, from before, during training days, it was harder to commute, those kinds of stuff. But now we could at least rent some, uh, some, some, parang dun sa malami sa, sa, for the training, those kinds of things. It made it easier for us. Yes, yeah. we got get what we want, and yeah, we can and, buy those yes, things. And other than that, more. of course, 18 happened. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the best thing. Yeah. Because of them, we're right here. We're, we're here. We, we cannot say that we're already successful, but um, having this kind of um, support and love from our fans, this is a very, very, very um, blessed, um, blessed opportunity for us to, you know, perform here in not only in the U.S. but also in other countries. So we would like to thank our beloved 18 for the forever support and love. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah.
So of course, they want to know, what's next? Is there any future plans that you can uh, let us know? Any, you know, anything you can share? A lot. I, yeah. <laughs> share, share, share for more. Well, a lot of people has been uh, have been asking us to, you know, perform in their cities as well. Of course, we will be back here. Diba? Yeah. Where's our manager? <laughs> Next year, and of course, with, uh, with our upcoming album as well. So they will be hearing new songs and uh, new performances. Of course, uh, music videos. And of course, newly improved SP19. Wow. Oh. Next year. With Hinko Biloba. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, give it out. We have a lot of media that came in today, and I know that they have their questions. Um, so what we're going to do is, I know Leo's going to um, grab the mic and bring it to them. So uh, there we go. So you can raise your hand, and you'll introduce yourself and uh, what media plays, and then you can ask your question. Here we go. Hi, Peter Gonzaga from GMA7 and Hello. 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 Video. Good to see you guys last night at LAX. Anyways, one thing is, you love to make sure that you have a great concert. Tell me, what is a, what do you, how do you prepare day of, and what did you guys all do together before you go on stage? Um, before we step to the stage, um, of course, um, we do vocal exercises and then we do stretches. But um, most importantly, uh, we pray. Before we before we start a concert, and we do um, a huddle, and we have this battle cry. Uh, like um, we we uh, our leader Pablo, uh, he will just um, so, uh, um, lay some messages, and you know um, that will help us and to be you know confident when we step on the stage. And we had this um, battle cry that what what uh, we do. A break on free break. one two three break. Like that yeah like that and yeah that's all <laughs> and of course um maybe um some you know cheer cheer up messages for our yeah we get the other members each other so during the small stage. small talk pep talk like small that pep. it's something that we wouldn't definitely we wouldn't miss whenever we perform because you know when you perform by yourself you feel like uh you feel like you could do it but. Together, we're stronger. So we try to uh, hype each other up and be like, um, be like connected. But because uh, when we perform on stage and when you're connected with each other and the uh, fans see that we're having chemistry and we're harmonizing with each other, it's it's really a different experience for them as well as our team because you know. Um, we don't feel alone on stage, and it's very important for us to speak uh, to each other before we go on stage. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Any other? <laughs> Hello, Steve Angels from ABS CBN Los Angeles. Wow. We spoke on Zoom, right? Oh, yeah. During the BBMA, that was BBMA right before MAPA came out. Um, yeah. So I actually wanted to rewind back to that a little. And uh, I mean, you did so much, you got so much success during the pandemic, Miss Ma. It's like we couldn't even go out. Now that you're back out on the road and um, able to do even more, do you feel that the early success is, do you feel more pressure now that like, we did this during a pandemic, how do we top that now, or I mean, how, how, how does it feel just to be having a new level of freedom right now? Of course you feel pressured, but uh, pressure isn't a thing that will for us. Because like for now, uh, it's our first world, ever world tour. It's not common for us, honestly. Uh, we didn't really know what to expect during these times. But uh, with the fans, with the help of our fans, uh, everything, they, they made everything magical for us. But uh, we, we really went to the top. Uh, Alam niyo po yun, sorry, tatagal ko yun, tatagal ko yun. Para mas, 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 Pero parang, yung, through our fans, siguro parang, na-amplify po nila ko na yung mga pangarap namin at yung ginagawa namin sa crafts namin. And now, na mas malawag na po, hindi na tayo, well, medyo na, mas malawag na yung pandemic, nasa pandemic pero tayo, pero hindi na kating nala dati. Um, we could really, we could freely express na po yung parang, crafts namin 
to the world tingay na kapag tour kami when we were nominated sa billboard we wouldn't be able to go to the US kasi nga during pandemic siya but now if we were get to nominate be, nom be nominated again siguro yun na yung chance namin to get a big break and to proudly say na uh, ito yung talent ng Filipinos so we could really uh, uh, tell the world na parang ito po SV19 and of course other Filip OPM artists will be representing the Filipino talent. And then, uh, I, uh, we honestly, I personally have lots of re realization during the Waya tour. Uh, before we started the tour, we were really, really um, scared and uh, very, very anxious of what's going to happen. But then when we went on tour and we were able to speak, speak with um, Consul General Tato of uh, the New York. Um, we realize a lot of things, and we're just not, we're not just here to perform. We're here to bring the Filipino heritage all over the world. So um, that gave us strength, and even like rea we realize that we have to pride ourselves in whatever we do because uh, for us to project the Filipino talent, we need to be proud of it. So yun po, masayang masaya kami na we have this platform to uh, show our talents in the world. And uh, we're really, really thankful to all the people who are supporting us. Oh, and actually, I'm not too because from what I've heard before, you guys saw BGYO kanina. I um, feel like among the P-pop groups, it's like you all seem to be friends. Just how important is that yeah, friendship? Not, not to be against each other, but... Yes. We wouldn't be able to make it without everyone. So tulungan po talaga. It should be a healthy competition, not uh, para yun nga. So yun po. We're all friends and yeah, we we talk to each other naman a lot. And naniniwala, yeah, we spend time with each other. Yeah, basketball and stuff. And we believe na their talents are very, ano rin po talaga, one of the keys of the Filipino uh, industry para uh, Filipino music industry para mas makilala pa ang Pilipinas sa mga pa sa ibang bansa pa pa at sa buong mundo. Thank you. Five 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 kyo yo so basketball. Next question. One more for media. And we can we shout out with forty six thousand. Wow, forty six thousand viewers. Yes, right now. Oh, thank you to the forty six thousand viewers. Hi. I'm one of them. You're one of them. Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Nikki. I'm from Aramble Alive. Welcome to LA. We're so excited to have you here. Uh, my question is, you've been SB19 for a few years now. Um, if you could relive one moment that you shared together, what would it be? This is also a tough question. <laughs> I guess. Uh, um, I guess it's it's when we were living together. Because when we were living together, we didn't really speak to each other. Um, we were busy, like, trying, we, because we were on tour that time, locally. And uh, when we uh, get to our home, we just sleep, we just rest. And I think um, it's one of the, the moments that felt like we wasted. Trying to know each other, trying to, like, bond. Because right now we're we're really close close right now, but before before we uh, we came here before our status become like became like this, we were really separated. Like we're we're working individually, but as a team, you know. But right now, I think we're really solid, and and I think if we could, if I could relive one moment, it is that moment that moment. Hirap. <laughs> Hirap mag-isip. Uh, kayo, ikaw, Justin. Well, in a positive way, well, hindi ko lang positive way, well, during the time na we were about to give up, when we were about to give up, uh, siguro, there was this time, most of the people don't know about this, but Justin uh, told us, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> there was time na ganun po na parang, I thought everything was parang just gonna end there. Pero for us, uh, I was talking to Justin during that. Justin, kapit ka muna, uh, we could maybe let's try this one more time during Go Up era to. Pero when we released the music video of Go Up, 
but naging flop din siya, honestly. When you flop siya, hindi siya bumatok, wala nangyayari. And there was, that was the time that everyone thought na matatapos na lahat doon. Then we released dance practice. And it was siguro yung moment na yun um, na parang we parang kumapit kami to each other. And tinuloy pa rin namin yung pangarap namin kahit walang nangyayari. It was a very... Parang I want to relieve that moment na kahit wala kami achievement or kahit wala kami nakukuha na reward, tinutuloy-tuloy pa rin namin. And siguro one of the biggest ano siya, success or uh, ano mas sabi ko nun? Parang um, fulfilling moments kasi dun ko na realize na parang we're doing this because we love this so much. Hindi namin ginagawa to because of just what we can earn from this but we were doing this because we love it na kahit walang kapalit, ginagawa namin siya. Thank you for staying, Jock! <laughs> Matt from TFC. Where's Matt from TFC? Oh, yeah, I'm right over here. Um, yeah, let me move back to Matt. I have one question for you guys. My name is Matt. I'm with Janelle So Productions. Um, she had one question for you guys. If you were given the chance to collaborate with an international artist, who would it be? Bruno Mars. Tell them why. Bruno Mars, because he's my kuya. <laughs> no, no, what's your name? I don't know. No, I'm kidding. Um, Bruno Mars, because, um, well, Bruno Mars can also dance while singing. And his songs, well, he's my favorite artist, that's why. And yeah, um, I think we can, you know, SB19 and Bruno Mars can do a, you know, perfect song that can represent Bruno Mars and SB19. And I don't know, I can't say anything more because I, I guess um, we will be perfect with each other like that, SB19 and Bruno Mars. Um, I'm not saying this to make Yabang, but I'm saying this because that's what we feel. Um, we can do um, uh, a good song na parang may kiba, so, uh, uh, where we can showcase our skills and also um, we can show na parang kaya namin din parang hindi makipagsabayan eh kaya rin namin ipakita na parang ganun na rin yun eh makipagsabayan sa international scene so hindi ko na siya maliliko pa parang ganun pa parang syempre with Bruno Mars kilala naman po natin siya as big name talaga and SB19 is starting pa lang but if given a chance to have a collaboration with Bruno Mars syempre po we, will, we are very happy we will be very honored po na magkaroon ng ganong klaseng chance kasi sino ba naman po kami di ba? Pero other than that, meron naman po kaming mga um, individual favorite artists. Pero as a group po, syempre, yun po Bruno Mars po. Thank you po sa question. And also, I think it will be something different for Bruno Mars to collaborate with a boy group. Something he has never done, so I challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sir Bruno Mars. If you're watching, I'm leaving the door open. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I think we, we um, arrive at the end of the press con, so now I'm, I'm just leaving this for you guys to promote your, your tour and also your socials. I have a question. Oh, oh. question. question. Oh, last, last question, last question. By Sir Oliver Carne. Hmm. Um, you're very famous right now, and uh, you have a lot of fans. And sometimes you, uh, sometimes um, uh, they want to know everything about you, but you want to leave something for yourself. And much as you would like to keep your privacy, uh, what do you think um, is the advantage and disadvantage of being famous and popular? Yeah, I think everything no matter there has pros and cons. And for us, it's the price to pay for being famous. But, the fans, 18, are really understandable people naman. They really know how to understand us as well. So if we have, like, you know, if we try to have our own time, ourselves, our alone time, 
they respect our privacy most of the time and that's what I, we, what we love about them the most actually talagang they are respectful in their personal space nila ay namin kayo guys i think um one of the bigger challenges that we have right now is the responsibility um now that there's a lot of youth watching us following us and trying to know more about us um, we should show something that would make them better, that would inspire them, and I think that's harder than um, hiding your um, privacy. So, yeah. That's right. Correct. Correct. <laughs> the, the, the pros that we can really say is the uh, uh, security in terms of financial. Um, before, like, we could. Uh, right now, we're really, really thankful that we're financially secured and uh, we could provide for our family. And uh, if ever we needed something or we're hospitalized, we could pay for the bills. And of course, just like what Justin said, um, more than the privacy of our our own lives, it's the burden, not really burden, but the, the weight, the responsibility that we carry for for all the people or all the uh, fans or all the supporters that are looking up to us. So, in po yung pinaka, parang masabi na yung good thing and bad thing. Thank you. We dream about this, so, we don't have any regrets. Nangyari sa amin to, and still, pag naliligo ko minsan, mapaisip po, wow. Sa ako sa tao na nabihiyaan ng ganitong opportunity. So, wala akong pinagsisihan eh. Kahit yung mga disadvantage na yun, like, siguro, uh, to be honest, medyo nawawala din yung freedom minsan. Lalo to speak up yung kung ano talaga yung tunay na nararamdaman mo. But, um, yun, God gave us talent na to inspire people. So, yun, uh, di na namin tinitingnan yung mga sinasabi ng iba, basta ano lang, pinapanulaan namin yung sarili namin. Yan ang pag. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, let's give it up for SP19. Right. Now, I'm giving you the chance to like, just plug um, the W... Uh, y, you said Y, right? Where are you at? World Tour. Uh, please do plug that and also your socials. Yes, guys. Um, see you first, of course, here in LA at November 12th. Um, kita kita po tayo, followed by our concert at San Francisco by November 18, and sa Singapore naman po by November 27, and maybe next year and pagbalik sa Philippines. So, yes, coming concert. We'll do it as well. So we'll see you guys in the Philippines. Love you guys. And yeah, you can just search for SB19 official or official SB19 at all social media platforms. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paul. There is 58,000 people watching on Kumu. You are at one mil, almost one million diamonds. If you see all these virtual gifts right there, your top gifter tonight, Tina Lata, dropped 159,000. Oh. Wow. So, she's, she's an author. She's, she's, oh. a, she's a very famous ah, author. Yeah, I know her. See, Tina, Miss Za, J Media, they've yeah. all dropped over 100,000. Oh, so, yeah. Shout out to the 58,000 viewers, and we reach you, the one million diamonds. Oh. For tonight. Thank you, Tina. Everybody, let's give it up for SB19!